Yeah, the question was posed: How fast can you do you think we can get mm -hmm. a site that looks professional and looks like you may have paid someone to do it for you, but you actually set it up yourself? And um, I guess for some reason the time was put down for about 12 minutes. Uh, I think I can do it. And Come on, man! I, I got hundred bucks. Me and I want to show you. I want to show you a few things first before we go through it. Looking at right now at MLSP Sites Login, I have just created my site with, uh, with a, a dummy account from MLSP. So this is exactly what you're going to be seeing when you log in for the first time. And we are in. All right, awesome. This is the training portal. This is the first thing you guys are going to see when you log in. Um, the training portal, we're really proud of this. It's a ton of training that shows you how to use every little piece of, of what you have at your disposal here. But what's even cooler is for the people that don't know what WordPress is or what you can do with it, we have this WordPress beginner section right here which covers everything that you can do with WordPress. They're two to three minute videos. We've had some people go through these um, and I didn't actually believe them when they told me that they never used WordPress before when they showed me their blog. Uh, I, was, I was truly blown away. So. If you don't know what I'm talking about when I say WordPress, or if all of this looks like uh, like a different world here, then you might want to spend some time to go through this WordPress for beginners. But the training portal is where you're going to want to go for what I'm showing you now, for the in-depth training, so that you guys can do exactly what I'm doing. Okay? When you're ready, you're going to just click this button right here that says My Dashboard, and it's going to end up taking to your WordPress dashboard. So, before I get started, Let's take a look at what I have. I'm going to open my site in a new window. And let's see. We have nothing activated. Yeah, so this is what you'll be seeing. This is the bare bones of a blog. It's, it's a blank slate for you, which I love. It's got your name up here. It's got the what you called the site. And all of this can be changed. But here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to activate six plugins. I'm going to create a blog post. I'm going to create a couple of pages. I'm going to mess around with some widgets, and then I'm going to be the. I'm going to design, do a little bit of design, just some coloring and adding a header and things like that to make it look really cool. Uh, so let's see if I can do it in the amount of time that I am allotted here. Um, so I guess start the clock. First thing we're going to do is we're going to come down here to plugins, and I have a list of six that are super easy to use. Uh, all the training that we that we have back there shows you how to use all the other plugins that we have. Some of them are very very powerful, but for this uh, this kind of exercise here, I'm only going to be doing some simple ones. So easy Facebook like box. We're going to have some simple share buttons. We're going to we might do the Instagram feed. So we're going to do the MSP call to action widget. We're going to do the simple social icons. You'll see what all these things do. And then we're going to do these style buttons, which give me a lot of power over like the colors and fonts and everything that this specific theme offers. So I'm going to activate these six plugins. And nothing's actually going to happen to the site right now, but this, these six plugins are going to give me a lot of power. So it's going to do its thing to activate all these at once. Then I'm going to start creating a little bit of content. So I, when I get into the customizer here, and you guys will see what I'm doing, so, you guys t get that so far? All you had to do was log into WordPress and go to your widgets. Uh, Todd's playing around with the servers, which will, I don't know what he's doing right now, but Jim just went upstairs. To, if you don't know, we're all in the same house. We are, we are all in Austin, Texas. Jim actually lives uh, pretty close to us as well. And he's, we're all hanging out tonight from, um, from my home. But anyway, those six plugins, guys, uh, all you need to do, that's all we've done so far. You've, right now, if you have an MLSP account, you have sites. If you're buying MLS or a Three Minute Expert, and you're obviously getting the 30 days free to the site's portal, all we've done is go to the widgets and activated six of the plugins. Yeah, and uh, Brian, if I can, if I can uh, throw something in here, I, I've been just cranking away answering questions, and there's a lot of questions, <laughs> so I'm, I'm answering as many as I possibly can, guys. Thanks for your patience. But there, there's, uh, there's a question I wanted to pull out because I think maybe more people have this kind of question. Um, looks like uh, Marley. Marley asks, I'm involved with a direct sales company, but my blog is focused on network marketing. How do I go about introducing my leads to my network marketing business? 
Uh, it's a great question, and I mean that's really what we have done. I mean that's how we became the. That's exactly how we became the number one income earners in our last network marketing company, earning over a million dollars in commissions. Um, what we do is we focus on putting content out that attract network marketers to us, and then we connect with those leads. And I'm going to give you the two. This is like this right here is 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 a pretty cool little training for you here. But we, I, we focus on this. So I find out. Are they happy with in, in are they in a company and happy with that company? If they are, I don't try to you know overthrow them. I don't say, well, that one sucks and mine's better. I don't say that. I'm just I'm not that type. And I know that some people are what we call flippers. That's just not my thing. If someone's fired up about what they're in, good for them. But here's the question I ask them. And this question has made me hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars. I ask them. Sounds like you're in a great company. How are you doing with generating leads online? Nine times out of ten, they say, not very good. And I say, well, I got a little video. It might help you out. And I send them a video to my Lead System Pro. They watch that video, and many of them end up buying the membership to my Lead System Pro, and I get compensated. But I want to point out something. I'm getting, I'm, I'm making revenue from someone who didn't join my business. And that's like, you know, it's like the forbidden fruit. It's like really sweet, uh -huh. right? And so, you know, that that is one of the ways that we've made a lot of money. So we we've done that exact thing, Marley. We've done it since late 2009. It's a good question though. Yeah, great answer too. Jimbo, you back? I am back. This is one of the I've been doing WordPress for about 10 years uh, well, actually a little over 10 years now and I've never seen a setup like like what we have minus um, wordpress.com that hosts millions uh, I think 20 some million blogs or something crazy like that um, so uh, let me go ahead and get started back into it we have the six plugins activated right now okay now what I want to do is I'm gonna go ahead and create a post and the reason why I'm doing this is so that when I go in to design the actual blog I can see some of the content there so that um, so that I know what the final product is gonna look like so I have this post here and I'm just gonna copy and paste this in here uh, I'm going to add a read more button, maybe make this a uh, block quote, and I know Ray likes to use a lot of images, so let's upload a file here, uh, let's try this one, and we will float it to the left, insert it into the post, and I'm going to set a featured image. I'm I'm a big proponent of imagery too, uh, just like Ray. I think it makes a huge, huge statement on blogs. Uh, it makes it look really professional if you get the right images for it. So I'm going to set the featured image here, and I'm going to go ahead and take care of the categories now because I can. And I know my blog is going to be uh, for network marketers, so I'm going to have a blog category that's called Get Leads, and then I'm going to add a more detailed category that's. Uh, let's do blogging tips because the name of this uh, blog post is three content creation tips I learned from a seven-figure blogger and we are going to go ahead and publish this post so we have a post published now I just want to create a couple of pages something that you guys will probably be doing too so I'm gonna come to pages add new you probably should have an about me page and a lot of bloggers have work with me pages so I'm going to do about me I'm just gonna fill it in with some placeholder uh, content everything else looks good now the training in the back shows you exactly especially Ray's training goes into how to correctly do some SEO work in here what to do with all these fields down here um, so I'm not going to get into that because someone else does it much better than I could in the time that I have with you. So I'm also going to add a work with me page. And do the same thing. I'll just fill it in with some placeholder and publish it. So we got our plugins activated and we have some content. Now I'm going to go and, uh, and put some widgets on our blog. Widgets are kind of 
they're pretty cool. So they're, they're areas of content that you can put all around your blog depending on what theme you're using. And uh, the default theme we have is custom built off of the Genesis framework. It's very simple to use but can look really, really good if you do it, uh, if you follow some of these steps. So here's the ones I want to use. Like I said, I think you're going to love the MLSP call to action one. It's, it adds calls to action to your site very easily. But what it's going to ask you to do is to put your MLSP username in here so that everything that it adds can be linked to you. So uh, this is a dummy account, so I'm just going to save that. It saves. Refresh here, and I'll have a slew of options here now that are tailored to my account. So now if I want to use our mastery sales, for example, and we give away an Instagram cheat sheet, I can just save that and all the content's created for me. Then I'm going to put a, let's do a search bar, because I, I think that is a huge user experience uh, plus to have a search bar there. Let's do the social icons so people can follow us. Uh, let's see, we'll do that here. Connect with me will be the title. Open them in a new window. I mean, all these settings can pretty much stay the way they are. Uh, I'm going to do Facebook, and let's do, ooh, I have Instagram. And you guys will be putting in your own links there. And let's do Twitter. And finally, YouTube. All right, so now we have our social sharing links. And let's say I have a fan page. I would love for people to be able to like my fan page straight from here. So I'm going to use the easy Facebook like box widget. Don't put anything in the title, but I'm going to change this to, let's just use this fan page right here. But you can put whatever fan page you want in there, so preferably yours. Uh, and then we're going to do a couple of settings here. Again, everything I'm going over is covered in detail in the training portal. And then lastly, I'm going to do the categories widget because I have a couple of categories. I want people to be able to get to them easily. And there we go. And that's it. So we have widgets. Now, to get a better idea of what you're looking at, let's open up the customizer. The customizer is really cool because you'll see you can really dig in to what the site is going to look like. And you'll notice now we have some content on here. Looks great, right? But here's what I want to do is I want to add a header image, something that's tailored to Jon Snow. Let's add this one. And what I love about the customizer is that it updates live for you. I'm not going to crop it because it's the size that I want it. And it updates live for you. So I was going to go show you guys how to add menus, but you can actually add menus right here in the customizer and watch it get built. So what I want to do is I want to add a navigation. And this is going to be my main navigation. Create the menu. I'm going to assign it to the primary navigation, which means that it's on top of the page for this theme. And then I'm just going to add the items that I want. I'm going to do a home page which is a custom link, work with me, and the about me. And I'm going to add my categories and drag them around the way that I want them to be. Save and publish. And now I have a main navigation up here. So, and you'll notice, like, if, if I click on this blog post right here, You'll see I have the share buttons right here. I have the connect with me buttons right here. The blog post looks great. Comments are activated. Here's my categories. I mean, this is basically, if you went to market with this, you look more professional than most of the people that are out there trying to create blogs from scratch. But, Wait, Jim, are we done? Are we done? Yeah, we're done. Seven and a half minutes. We're going to go over a couple more things here. But, guys, 